Louise and Laurie Vitali. On this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I want to share with you my take on a Basque cheesecake, also known as a burnt cheesecake. It's so delicious. It is the most delicious cheesecake I have ever eaten in my whole life. Um, it has like two different consistencies depending on when you eat it. So if you're eating at room temperature, which typically you should eat this cheesecake at room temperature, it is like custardy and delicious and like literally melts in your mouth. But then if you pop it in the fridge and you eat it the next day, it like hardens and sets and it is the creamiest cheesecake you'll ever eat. I mean, it's just literally so good, you cannot even believe it. Let me run you through the list of ingredients because it's short and sweet, kind of like me. Lots of cream cheese, sugar, I got a pinch of salt, eggs, a little flour, heavy cream, and vanilla. That is it. Your oven preheated to 425. I'll talk about the pan in just a little bit. I'm making this in my standing mixer, fitted with a paddle attachment, and we are just gonna go right to town. Make sure that your eggs and your cream cheese are at room temperature. Otherwise, the cream cheese um, will not get really super creamy, which you want it to be. This is so good, just you wait. I love this, and I don't think I'm ever gonna make a different cheesecake <laughs> ever again, because it's that good. Basically, you're just baking it at a really high temperature. There's no base so that the top gets really like caramelized. <gasps> it's that good. You're gonna cream this for about a minute, okay? And then, after that minute, we're gonna add the sugar. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my spatula and cream, and <laughs> cream clean the sides. I'm gonna add the sugar and the salt, and I'm gonna just keep whisking and whisk, oh! I'm gonna keep mixing this for a couple minutes. I want this to be a super smooth mixture before we slowly start adding the eggs. All right, I'm gonna start cracking eggs. These are our beautiful, oh, fresh eggs. You wanna add one at a time, and don't add the next one until the first one's incorporated. And you're just gonna keep mixing and mixing and mixing um, until all the eggs are added. So I'm gonna do that. That's looking good. See how the first one's just about incorporated? I mean, look at that yolk. Okay, okay, you're saying. Get you some good eggs. Um, and just keep going until all the eggs are in. Okay, I just keep scraping the sides and the bottom of the bowl very, very often. Um, you're gonna get just a few little lumpy bits, but you don't want like large chunks of like cream cheese that haven't incorporated. You don't want that. So I'm going to add the heavy cream that I added a splash of vanilla in. Love that just a little bit so it doesn't go all over me. And then once that's all incorporated, we move on to the last step before it goes into the oven. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Sift in some all-purpose flour. Oh, you don't need a lot. And I just sift it in so that I don't get any big clumps anywhere. You're gonna find, when you pour this into your mold, you'll find like teeny tiny little bumps here and there uh, of the flour, but what happens is it will completely like melt away as it bakes. But what you don't want is to have like really big balls, you know, clumpy bits of flour settling in spots, so this is looking perfect. I made this a couple weeks ago, and um, I made it for a friend of ours, because to me, this has got like the texture of like, when it's eaten at room temperature, it's like souffle, meets flan, meets cheesecake, and it's like some of his favorite things. So, it, <laughs> it was gone. It was gone in one sitting, between all of us. Ain't no shame in that game. Pour into your prepared pan, which I'll just talk to you about in just a minute, because this is really important, okay? What I've got here is an overlined 10 inch, uh, what is this called? Spring form pan, I can't talk today. Spring form pan, overlined with parchment paper. And now I spray the inside just uh, of the parchment paper just so that I'm sure nothing sticks, but you really don't have to. Just make sure that it's overlined, like I'm doing here. I'm gonna pop this into my oven at 425 for 45 minutes. It'll look like golden brown and caramelized on top, which is what you want. The center will be like slightly jiggly, which is important. And then we're gonna let this cool completely. And depending on how I feel, I might show you what it looks like at room temperature or tomorrow morning. I'll show you what it looks like, don't worry. It's gonna be magnificent. That is 
absolutely gorgeous. Now I want you to know that when you take this out of the oven, it's gonna be much higher. It will fall as it sits, and it's going to be all crackly and uh, beautiful and rustic. It's what it's supposed to look like, right? Look at that. But trust me when I tell you, this cheesecake will be the best cheesecake you've ever eaten. Now we're eating this at room temperature, so the inside is going to be very soft, custardy, right? Some people cook theirs even less than I do, so it's like almost runny, um, which you can do that. I think this is perfect. I think this temperature, this long, you know, this amount of time makes for the most perfect batch cheesecake you have ever put your lips on. It is that delicious. Look at that. Custard heaven. It literally melts in your mouth unlike anything you've ever had before. It's hard to describe, but it's just phenomenal. And I can't think of anybody that would not go crazy for this. LaraInTheKitchen.com has a written recipe for you. Make it ASAP. It is that good. You will never have a better cheesecake in your life. And I hope that you come to tell me that on my Instagram because you know I love to talk about food. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. And I'll see you next time. Look at this. Bye.